Last week on the season. Exciting week for us. You know, we, uh, you get in this uh, game as a coach and as a player at this level to, uh, to play in exciting atmospheres and, and also against great competition. And I think uh, all those ingredients are in play for this week. I had a picture of me playing with him and what he can do if we came here. And now the dream is a reality. Now it's time to go to work to play out that dream to make sure it continues to happen. And that's what we're in the process of doing right now as we speak. Tiger A. Thanks for the massage, Kobe, man. I feel way better. Good job, boy. One clip. He, he breaks to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Josie, he sweeps right, dives in the end zone, touchdown. Missouri again with an impressive drive. Seniors, I hate it for you, but uh, you can make it all feel better next Thursday night. The annual Turkey Bowl. It's the manage equipment managers versus the trainers. It's always a huge rivalry. Builds up all year long. I mean, they think they're better than us, but they're not. Let's just face Five it. in a row. We're we about to make it six. I promise you that. Right now, currently, the student trainers are a little bit of a downfall. Poor recruiting. Well, the managers have gotten the best of us in the past few years. They practice and. We have not. And we're just going to get out there and play hard and see when the time comes, what's it going to be. Guys, bring it up. Bring it up. Now, I know that I ain't got to tell y'all the importance of this game. We're going to lock them gates, boys. We're going to lock them gates. We're going to hit them in the mouth. Because we play with heart. And them something them trainers ain't got is heart. They don't come to work every day like I've seen every one of y'all, my brothers. Now, I want every one of y'all to know I want every one of y'all to know, look each other in the eye. Look each other in the eye. Ask yourself, are you willing to go that extra mile for that man right next to you? I'm willing to go that extra mile. I'm willing to fight and claw and scratch for each and every one of y'all, boys. So let's go out there! Father's love for his son is irreplaceable. For senior Jeff Scott, it has been the foundation of his success. I grew up with my dad. He he been raising me since I was two months. Today in society, I mean, like you said, most guys they growing up with their mom and their father's not there. And I mean, 
and I grew up with my father, with my mom not there. And I mean, it hurts. Thank God for my father. I mean, he's always been there from the beginning. I mean, he's always been pushing me to the limit. And um, he was always, always just keeping me focused and always, he's the best teacher I ever had. He taught me how to be a man. Everybody asked me, oh, who's your role model or whatever? And I mean, I could easily say, oh, it's a rapper or it's a singer or anybody else or another football player. But I mean, it's my father. Cause I mean, everything that I knew, I mean, everything that I know now, I mean, is what he taught me. <laughs> Growing up, I mean, at the age of what, maybe three, four, my dad said I was always running around the house in my diapers or whatever, jumping from couch to couch. And I mean, he decided to um, take me out there to um, Pop Warner Little League football. And I mean, that's basically where my career begun. Sweeps the left to the 30, 35, down the sidelines to the 40, makes a move to the 45, the 50, he's to the 40, he could go! He's to the 25, the 20, they dive at him, they miss him, he's in the end zone! Touchdown! Oh, oh man! Shout out to my daddy, I love my daddy. Came all the way from Miami to come see me play my first senior game. I remember from the age of six to seven growing up, I mean, my dad, he'd actually grab chairs from the um, dinner table or whatever, and he used to set them up as officer linemen. <laughs> and um, he used to, that's when he first taught me the holes. I mean, from the right, two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven to the left. So, I mean, I was always ahead of it, one step ahead of everybody. Well, my dad, he's my best friend. I, I could talk to him about anything. I mean, my dad, he just always pushed me to be the best. And I mean, that's why I think I had that advantage over certain people or whatever. That's why I'm blessed to have my father in my life. But I mean, I can always talk to my dad about anything, anything. He's my best friend. Today's practice, all right? Everything today is a jog through. Don't give me this jog either. Don't give me the fat man jog, have a nice little pace, but get lined up fast. That has got to be our key and that's got to be our mindset. Tempo, 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 tempo. Hey, lights. You might not get all the way to this hash now. Once you get into a hole, you need to be making sure you're looking because he ain't moving. Just because he's sitting there, what does that mean? You can't run your route now? Ooh, look, you get, to, you get to about four and you start staying straight up and getting all gooey and ba giving me these baby steps, run. But right now, you're already thinking, I, I'm gonna come back underneath right now. Run, don't, don't try to predetermine this whole deal. Run, it's one high, you should be going vertical anyway. Lights. Hustle your butt up to get lined up, jog your assignments. Tempo, 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 tempo. Hey, uh, let's have a great day. Are you going to rush the passer with some fire? Some fire. Some fire. Where's the fire, Kim Dietschy? Where's the fire in your soul? It's going to show tomorrow night. Sit back in your stance a little bit, man. Get you some weight on your heels, man. Where you? There you go. Flat. One, two, three, go. Rob, get that ball seated. Quit moving it. Come on, Barry. Speed up a little bit, baby. You're moving like molasses. Come on, Bo. Lead them, man. Come on, man. A little more pizzazz. So you got to buy in and get set first, and then you got to, we got to line up right and run the correct deal, okay? Lock in. Let's go. Tempo it, though. Tempo the first heart, five steps, and then hit it. Where's that smile, man? Where's that demeanor? Demeanor. Happy to be here. Hey, we're going to meet. We're going to meet. We're going to meet. We're going to meet. Next thing is we go and, and prepare for, uh, for our Thanksgiving meal. I want you to be sure and you tell three people, like I said this morning, that you're thankful for them. Someone that uh, has sacrificially given for, to you and has been consistent in that regard in developing you, man, you need to tell them thank you. And then um, you guys that are on the travel squad, be sure that you elevate your focus. That bus is pulling out here at five and we've got one mission and that's protect the Egg Bowl, to bring it back here and have it for another year. But as we go in, have a grateful heart, a thankful spirit, and make sure it's reflected to everyone that is around you. All right, let me bless this food for us. 
Father, we're so thankful for your goodness. And uh, God, remind us of how much we have to be thankful for. Uh, may we express that gratitude uh, in a way that uh, others know that. Lord, I pray your blessings on this team, that you protect us from illness and sickness, and uh, you fill us with great energy for tomorrow night. In Christ's name, amen. amen. Family, one, two, three. Family. We got a lot of good food out here. Feeling to see what it got going on. You want to know how anything tastes, just ask me. I call it my everything plate. I go down the line and get everything. Everything plate. Yeah, you know, that's probably like 20 pounds right there, you know, for my 200 pound self, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Most people don't like that food touch. Me, it's going to mix in that way, guys. Ooh. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Hey, I gotta apologize. I'm kind of, you know, kind of fat. Oh man, I'm thankful for my family, my teammates, man. Just the ability to wake up every morning and you know play this game and see everybody, man. Breathe. And the cheesecake. Oh, hey, oh yeah. And the cheesecake. Cheese cake. I mean, look at that. That's just nice. That's very festive Ooh. colors. That's fall colors. There's no man on the colors. You know what I mean? That's real nice. Twelve months ago in the Egg Bowl, the Rebels were playing for their sixth win and a chance to extend their season. This year, in the 110th meeting between the two schools, it is Mississippi State who is looking for that magical sixth win and a bowl burn. As with all rivalries, regular season records can be tossed out. Two teams separated by less than 100 miles are playing for much more than regular season accomplishments and postseason expectations. This one does not need a special speech. Sure Under no circumstances, no, it needs a special speech. No. So we, DT, you no, got this no, thing. No, 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 no. Hey, no. hey, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I went through two years of not being able to play this game, man. Two years. So what I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for stepping up and being with you fellas, man. Let me get all you guys. Let's go, baby. Let's, Let's go. go We're doing it today, right, baby. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. here in Starkville. Here's the kick, let's play football. Now, eyeball to eyeball with his gross with the quarterback. Both teams are getting a little testy. Third and long, there's a handoff to Perkins. He slices off the right side and can't get past Cody Pruitt as he's tackled at the 46-yard line. I don't care what's going on under the pile. Be smart, hold your composure. That's the only thing that can hurt us. It's third and six, we're lucky it's offset. While the Rebel defense would start off on the right foot, the offense would stumble early in their first possession. Fires over the middle, it's high and in, intercepted at the 50-yard line. Two bad throws by Bo Wallace. There's a... Bad turnover for the Rebels. Bad turnover indeed, David. Mississippi State with excellent field position. Despite being forced back into action quickly, the defense responded, shutting down the Bulldogs and setting up an impressive 14-play drive. Keeps it and runs right at the middle of the 10 to the 15. Bo Wallace slides down. The Rebels going for it on fourth and inches. The handoff is to Kim Dietschy. He's got the first down, and he's across the 35 to the 40 to the 46-yard line. Oh, It off this time, Jalen Walton is back in the game, and that'll move the chains again as Calhoun makes the tackle. Wallace, who's in the gun, there's the snap, three-man rush. 
Wallace fires, got his man. Logan caught at the 20, spins around and dropped. This will be from the 18, a 28-yard effort. He's four of six inside the 29. There's his kick, and it hits the upright on the left side. No good. Ritter missed it. The missed field goal added to a growing list of miscues for the Rebels in the first half. On subsequent possessions, two more interceptions would be thrown the last of which would open the door for the Bulldogs to score the first touchdown of the game. First and goal for the Bulldogs from the half yard line, a chance to break the goose egg. There's the snap, handoff left, Robinson, he's in the end zone and Mississippi State takes a six to nothing lead and Robinson fires up the shark fin at the Ole Miss fan. But guess who you're gonna run behind? I would too, big Gabe Jackson, the left guard. David just blew a gaping hole in there and Robinson just with a deep handoff and the fullback leading and it rushes it in the end zone. Hold your composure! Win it with your play! Get a stop and we ain't got to worry about all this crap! Everybody on the same page! He's going to run to his left and he's hit at the two and driven back into the end zone and tackled there. That's a three-yard loss. All right, threes and eights are going to come off the edge. Boom, okay? Boom, threes and eights. Threes and eights come off the edge. Everybody, yes. On fourth down and 15. Low snap. He gets it away. It's blocked. He didn't get it away. It's blocked and recovered in the end zone by the Ole Miss Rebels for a touchdown. Ole Miss and on the recovery, Terrell Grant. And we're a PAT away from tying this with 26 seconds left. The special teams bailed out the Ole Miss offense. That's no doubt about it. And this takes all three of them. Hey, hey, you got 30 minutes, man. 30 minutes. 30 minutes for bragging rights in this state. 30 minutes, man. You got to fight your life out, man. Your gut's out. 30 more minutes for this state, for the university, the flagship of this state. Man, the pride is on the line. Fight your guts out. Let's go. Let's go. Round on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. The Rebel offense started the second half by completing passes to six different receivers. They marched down the field with relative ease and looked as though they had found their rhythm. Gun formation for Wallace in an empty set, swings it out to Treadwell with three blockers, throws back to Wallace near side, makes the catch, runs downfield to the 35, to the 30, to the 25, hammered there and out of bounds. Stalling inside the 10 yard line would force Coach Freeze to call Andrew Ritter's number once again. With 10.02 to go in the third quarter. Snap back and down, the kick is on its way, and it is good, and Ole Miss leads 10 to seven over Mississippi State. Continuing the trend of the night, both defenses tightened their grip and made the opposition claw for every inch. Just fires it up for grabs, is picked off by Pruitt at the 10. With time winding down, the Bulldogs found themselves in possession of the ball and inching ever closer to a game-winning field goal team. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, and they will stop it at two seconds. A chance for a field goal to win the football game. It will be from the 29-yard line, a 39-yard effort straight on to win the game. Waiting for the snap back. There it is, and a kick, and it's on its way. It definitely has the distance, and the kick is no good. No good. He pushed it to the right. And we're going to go overtime on Thanksgiving night. Overtime indeed. If you're a Rebel fan, you'll take it. 10-10 is our score. Hey, hey. hey, no more talking. Go out, do your assignment. Oh, oh, best man play. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Prescott looking to throw, looking to throw over the middle, and the pass is caught at the four-yard line, but it'll be shy of the first down. They're going for it, though. That's the bottom line. Mississippi State sends out the offensive unit in a 10-10 game, first overtime. The Bulldogs with fourth down about a yard and a half. Takes the snap. He's going to try to run straight ahead, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, that was just too easy on the fourth down run. So Mississippi State's gamble pays dividends big time.
the Rebel offense took the field, 25 yards away from a game-tying score. Wallace. In the gun again, fakes the handoff, keeps it, runs off the right side. He's the five, he's in the two, fumbles in the end zone, and Mississippi State recovers, and that's the ball game. The Bulldogs are bowl eligible. this cold night in Starkville, the Egg Bowl trophy that had arrived with the Rebels would not make the return trip home. Hey, everybody touch somebody, man. Hey, the only thing that gets you through difficult times in life is love, man, and faith. Love and faith. And, uh, I don't understand everything. We didn't play our best game, obviously. We can't turn the ball over as many times as we didn't expect to win. Defense, you played your guts out, man. Played your guts out. And uh, why it's like that sometimes, I'm not sure. But um, it ain't nothing you can, uh, that we can say that makes it feel any better. Seniors, I'm very sorry for you guys. But here's the deal, it's not your last one. You get to go to a bowl game. We're going to have to rub, we're going to, this one's going to hurt this weekend and we got to move past it and get ready for the bowl game. And go recruit some players to come get us some more depth and help us make sure this doesn't happen again. Okay? But uh, it, it's going to hurt, man. And the only thing I know to get us through it is you got to love on each other and stick together. All right?